Step area one. Electronic suits here. Back with another video. In today's video, this is finally the day that we're gonna be putting the new electronic search stuff on there. Or I mean vacuum stickers is what it's called. Because it's 2023. This was a little, a little bit outdated. It's February 18th, 2023 currently. And, um... Yeah, so I'm two months late, but that's that's fine. Because I, I didn't have the chance to make a lot of uh, Eureka videos this, uh... These two months, I only made like what four in two months. And tired of this LED light, why is it so low? Keep hitting my head on it. Like, why is it so low? It's supposed to be all the way up there. All right, um, you, I don't know why he's always backwards. So, here it is. I got the printer to print them out. And as you can see, I already took some time to cut to cut some of them out. Now, first I need to see how much there actually is over here. So there's one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 upstairs. Wait, no. No, only the Dyson kit is up there. So, fif uh, 15, yeah. You can also tell by the name tag. So, it, 1, 2, um, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... 12, 13, 14. Um, in the Dyson, 14 name tags, wait. Isn't there supposed to be any more? 14. Did I count that kid? Or the Oric? Is there anything I forgot back here? No, no, there's no one in here. So then... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There is fourteen. And that's including the ones that are upstairs, too. Well, whatever. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen on here. I think, if I know how to count. So. So, um, as you might know, there were some new vacuums in the, uh, what's it called? 2022. So they, it, because we got them in 2022, they don't have any stickers yet. And as you might know, we got this kit in 2022. As you can see, he does not have anything on the front. This kid we had in since, like, 2019, 2020. This, he's always been here. Obviously, he's the star of the show. He's been here since 2016. Or, I mean, 2015. And, yeah. Well, basically, when I moved into this house, which was 2014. I'm still living in the same house, if you haven't known yet. So, that's about... Eight and a half years in this living in this house. This is where I started my YouTube channel too. But um I think that's all of them that we had. That vacuum kid we already had. Super light we already had in 2021. Sanitaire 2021 too, I think. Same thing goes with that dirt devil. And then these two as well. <laughs> All right, well, let me cut out these. This is how I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna cut these out like normal. I'll put that down there. All 
And these were made by 3.0. I did not design these. It was all designed by 3.0. In Microsoft Excel, I think. I know we use Excel instead of Google Sheets. But as long as it works, then it works. We can just time lapse through this, but I don't have the time lapse thing yet, sadly. There's also going to be a new tour on Office 2 soon. That will be soon. Why is it coming out crooked that way? I don't, I don't know why it's coming out crooked. And finally... The last one. And there we go. I cut all of those. So now let's pick all of them up. They went everywhere, obviously. Because I didn't put them in any kind of pile. Also, if we have any extra, which we will have. Because there's like 30 of them on here. Or 20, I don't know. I think 30 or something. But that doesn't really matter anyways, because the 2024 one is going to be completely different again. I think, maybe. Alright, so we're going to be doing this outside like we did last year. So, well, actually, no, we'll, we'll do it inside and outside, because we don't have much space in the front yard again, so... We're just going to start over here with this, um, Dark Devil. Um, where is it? It's on this side. I'm also going to be showing all the models like I, uh, showed last year. Almost lost my balance. So, this is a Dark Devil, uh, Dust Devil. Model 0860. And there's the whole thing. The whole sticker. I'm tired of these babysitters keep throwing garbage around here. Alright, we'll pick out one of these. There better be tape down here with the caddy. Are you kidding me? There's no caddy again? I could have sworn there was plenty of tape with the caddy. One of these is filled, I think. Never mind, all of these are empty. This one's filled, and this one is filled. This is ridiculous. What happened to the caddy? Where's the caddy? There were plenty of these over here. I even brought a new one down here like a week ago or something. And now it's gone? I can, I can swear that someone keeps stealing my stuff. Like someone keeps stealing my stuff. Also, you can go over there too because you're going to be next. Someone keeps stealing my stuff. Could have sworn I had one down here before. Alright, get inside. Actually, no, you stay out here. Oh my god. I have to go into that office too and bring out a new pack of tape. Alright, um. Stand by really quickly.
All right, I'm back. Here's the tape roll, the brand new one. Now, I, I just need the caddy part. If someone's gonna keep... I don't know who keeps stealing my stuff, but if it goes missing one more time, if that part if that part goes missing one more time, we're not we're done using tape over here. And we're switching to glue. And what what the funny part is is that last episode we had a broken caddy over here. So, because they ran it over? Okay, not my problem. It's in there now. It's in tons of pieces now. Okay, not my problem. They w they want to waste... They want to waste and steal my stuff, then I don't care. Just gonna get rid of these babysitters. Alright, we'll do it like this, so it's gonna be easier. I'm going to zoom it in as well. Get something to hold on to this drone. My bad. Not drone, I mean, um, to prevent that from falling. Right, let's install this into the caddy. This is going to be garbage. Because it's all destroyed. Alright. Let's get the old one off. I'm also going to be keeping all of the old ones. So I'm going to try my best not to mess them up. Which, as you could see, I already did. I'm also going to be seeing how dirty these got. In the past previous years. The bottom doesn't look too dirty. Here's the one from the Dust Devil. You can see it got pretty beat up. Um, I'm not going to put the name on them. I'm just going to put them up there. All right, we should probably clean these up as well. but So that way it would stick on more clearly. But that doesn't matter. I messed up. Alright, um, like, you have to, like, you just, you just have to, like, stay on this side. I can't, I can't, yeah, I, I can't do that. Um, how do you release it? Yeah, I, I can't do this. What if I just put it, like, up here instead? Why not just put it up here? Why, why does it have to be on the side? So, actually, yeah. Is that mold? Oh no, it's just, it's just broken plastic. I wish I found the charger for this thing, but no, that's gone. And if you might know, this kid already has been in a vacuum search. Then I gave it to my neighbor. Which later on threw out, once, once they were moving, they threw out the charger. I think, or, or it's just gone now. Great, why did it jump up? Oh my god. Hopefully you can see that. Oh, my bad. My bad. Alright, and we'll put that down here. Alright, perfect. And there's one of them completed. As you can see. Alright. So one of them is completed, we'll go ahead and put him back in his original spot, which is right here. As you can see, that's where his name tag is. Um, sure, let's just do the sanitary next. He's right here anyway, so... 
Um, alright, well, the old one is on here. Maybe I should put it on, the on like, the very top, like, right here. Yeah, I'll put it up here, too. Oh, stop moving around. I'm not putting up with this today, so... Um, pick out a new one again. Wipe off any dust that might be on there. Here, let me... Oh yeah, I forgot to take off the old one. Maybe we should just keep them on there the the 2022 ones but i don't know and i'm gonna have to go do the dyson kid uh after after the video i will do it though or actually i could just end up just bringing bringing him down here all right sanitaire is done we'll put him back in his spot we're not gonna take off the old one again all right, vacuum. Sure, why not? Definitely gonna have to zoom in for this one because this one's tiny. All right, um, take the old one off. Not peeling off in one hole. And it ripped. Oh, I figured out why it's why it ripped. It's not even cutting it off properly. Who designed this tape? It just cut itself off. I don't know why. Alright, there we go. That one's ripped, but it's alright. It doesn't really matter if it is or not. We'll grab a new one. And then we're probably going to do the vibe after. Also, you might have realized that we, instead of two separate stickers, we now only have one. That is because Vacuum Search is no longer included on here. The reason is because Vacuum Search is basically combined with uh, the electronic one now. Because they're both technically the same. Here's the Vacuum Kid completed. This is back in his original spot. You can see there's the name tag. Alright, we'll do the vibe next. We'll do it outside. Why not? Because he's out here anyways. I'll just grab a new one, and this, and then we can do the Bissell one out here right as, uh, as well, since while we're out there, why not just take another one, alright, you better hold on to that. Alright, this is pretty beat up, so... Yeah, it's scraped off, so I, I don't know if I can peel it off in one piece. Oh. And yes, I can. See, look how beat off that got from the side. And it's really dirty as well. Obviously, it's been on there for a year. So I'm gonna take all this garbage with it on there. We should have done that Eureka first, but I guess we're, we're just gonna do it last. And we'll put it back in the same area. As you can see, there's like a straight line. There's just like a straight line right under there where the old one has been on.
Oh, it's moving it with it. I don't know why. See, it's not going on there very well. Here, let me... Just, like, try and click that on there. All right, it's good. All right, there's that vibe. Um, all right, you can... You can stay out here for now. I'll just do this Bissell next. But go back, go back, because I need, I need the camera angle. Also, we can put the one from the vibe into the wall. Oh, yeah, here's the one from that vacuum. As you could see, it didn't come off in one piece. Move that down. That's the one from the vacuum. Uh, so that's from the Dustel vibe and um, the vacuum. All right, let's do the Bissell now. And as again, the Bissell has been here since um, 2022. Mid-2022, not at the very beginning. That's why he does not have it. But now he will. And obviously, some of these might fall off. Uh, what's it called? During, during use. Which is perfectly okay. I'll just put it on next year. Or if I have a replacement, which I probably will, then I'll just redo it. Because sometimes these probably won't go on here well. Especially with this cheap tape. But sometimes it will. And there's the Bissell Kid completed. So, you and the vibe can go inside. Oh, my bad. Where's the Bissell kid go? Uh, that's the Dyson DC-50. There's the Aeroswift. To get used to these new, um, spots. Alright, the farts kid can go next. Actually, wait, no. Um, where's the Hoover? The Hoover can go next. So, you go right over here. I'm gonna go bring the Dyson really quickly. So, I put the camera down over here. Alright, let me go get the Dyson really quickly. Alright, I'm back. And I brought the Dyson. Alright, now we're gonna do the Hoover. Oh, hold on, the vibe. The vibe thing fell off. The old one.
because it's gonna have to go this way. There we go. Much better review. Um, oh man, there's a lot of access on the sides. Alright, here's the vibe. Wow, you can see how much junk was under that. You can see how much junk was under there. Here's the condition. The condition isn't that bad. Sorry, the camera went out of focus. I accidentally put it out of focus. I hate when iOS does this. I don't understand how to get it out of that. Alright, um, it's pretty greasy down here, too. It's like a whole bunch of grease marks under there. I don't know why. But that might just help, um, hold the paper in. Oh, accidentally dropped it. Great, I got it dirty. Because I accidentally dropped it, um... After we were done with that Bissell. Why did it jump up? It doesn't go on straight. What is it doing? Oh my god. Tape said photo safe on it. Yeah, photo safe. So why is it not? I'm also going to try to not put it all the way at the bottom. But on some of these, the bottom part is way too um, thin. And I try to put it above a little bit. As you can see, there's a little bit of clearance from the bottom. That's to do so that way when it's being used or just moved around. So that way it wouldn't wear down the bottom. Which would then um, cause it to, to fall off. And the Hoover Elite goes right here. Alright, um... And then here was that Hoover Elite one, I think. It's this one. Alright, Dyson next. Now, the Dyson, if you might not know yet, is the main vacuum that is used almost every week. As you can see, it's pretty dirty right now. And because it's used every single week, as you can see, there's a lot of... I'm tired of this camera. See, it's super annoying when it does this. As you can see, you can see the damages. <laughs> so the whole electronic search part is missing. That doesn't matter as we're going to be replacing that. Alright, um, so for this I'm going to need a scraper probably because... This is like, it's like not in one piece. There's like multiple pieces of it. Yeah, it's it's like completely scratched up and everything. It's just like not in one piece. So see this this is this is this is the problem. See like this whole part is missing. There's like rubbed off tape here at the bottom. That's the difficult part about this, and this is why I say that. The the daily vacuums, the main ones, need the need the most strongest one. Probably gonna put double tape on here. I I accidentally um did that, but I mean that doesn't really matter as this is this this is gone. Like that's literally the whole entire thing. So this one will probably end up going to the trash. 
because this this is just in very bad condition. Yeah, it this this is difficult. This is going to be very 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 difficult. There's plenty of dents in here. And it's still not completely removed. See, this needs to be wiped down. Because this is so dirty and dented up. There's almost, like, no way to, um... Like, you can see the scratches and everything on here. But as you can see where the sticker was... There's not as much scratches in that area. And then obviously where that one fell off, it's it's back over there. Yeah, this is ridiculously a hard process. Because there's so much of it, it just in pieces. Oh wait, no, it's it's coming off. Barely though. All right, here's another piece. That's that's the whole thing. That's the whole thing right there. That's literally the whole tape. So, I mean, maybe I can just uh like just scrape this off with a uh, with some scissors, I guess. I don't want to put it towards my hand. This is already scratched up like crazy. This this has no effect. This this just has no effect. This this needs to be done. Yeah. I'm just going to put it on there as is cuz this this is just going to be really difficult to do. I'm I'm not gonna put it all the way towards the side and not towards the bottom. I'm probably gonna put double layer of tape on here. And remember not to put it all the way towards the bottom. Also the double layer won't just help um this thing stay on here longer, but it'll also prevent much of the scratches by acting as a protector against against the scratches. But it'll it'll it'll, it'll scratch the tape, but not the not the actual bottom part. All right, and we're done with it. So, third one, it always does the super annoying. All right, there's that. It went on in actually a, quite a good way, but still pretty trashy. And we'll put that in its spot, as you can see. Dice and DC-50. All right, who should be next? Let's do the, why not? I thought I fixed it. Why did it just break again? Alright, whatever. You can see how not straight these went on last year. Super annoying where it just, just catches on there. Oh, as you could see, there's plenty, there's plenty of it here at the bottom. See, where there's an axis at the bottom, I wasn't paying attention last year. But see, that's a problem. Even more axis on this side.
look how dirty this got. And obviously, it's out of focus again. And it's uh, dented up here in the corner, too. But, hey, not as bad as the, um, as the other one, as the Dyson. And same thing where I did it with the Dyson, I'm not going to put it at the very end. Tired of this. All right, done. That didn't take much time because there wasn't as much of an access. Now, this is a comparable. That's the Dyson. That's the Eureka, white Eureka, or in this case, the Eureka Superlight. Yeah, you can see the difference there. Um... Let's do the Oric first. The Eureka will be later. Do the Oric. And the, the other one. Where is it? There it is. Wow, the Oric is actually not in that bad of a condition, even though we've been throwing this at plenty of objects. Well, I mean, it's probably because we didn't put it on here. If we put, if we would have put it on here, then it probably would have been gone at that point. Probably was the most satisfying out of all of them. Oh, wow, look at that texture. Look at that texture it got. That's pretty cool. I'll take that to there, too. Alright, hold on really quickly. I'm sorry about the wait time. I'm really sorry about it. I know it's really annoying, but... Hold on. Again, sorry for the wait time. I'll be back in a second. Alright, I'm back. And sorry for the wait. Um, let's get the new one on here. And obviously it's tilted though. Let me use the scotch tape as, as a holder. Come on, just hold it. There we go. Thank you. What if we just put it up here? It'll just prevent it from getting too damaged. Because on this area... We'll see how it goes. Because last year, it seems like there wasn't much of an issue with it. Let's see how it'll be this year. 
And in this case, I won't put it all the way down at the bottom. All right, there we go. And the Oreck is completed. Oh my God, so loud. That's disgusting. Wow, that's disgusting. Okay. Oh boy, this is this is also beat up. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my god, this is as bad as that Dyson one too. Obviously it's still out of focus. That's crazy. This isn't going to come off in one piece either. This is as bad as the Dyson one. Yep. There it goes. It snapped. Well. This is going to be time consuming again. Actually, maybe not that much. There's the one from the... Reach Max Plus. Hmm, not as bad as I thought, actually. Well, the damage is pretty bad. But, well, no, there is some leftover, but not that, <clears throat> not as much as the Dyson at least. Yeah, and that came off in one piece. There, are nothing left. Alright, let's put this against here. I'm gonna use the this tape thing as a prop again. That way it doesn't fall off again. You can see that there's plenty of them left now. All right, let's pick out a new one. Now see, this is the annoying part. This might have to go somewhere on the top or down here. Cause see down here, it's, it's super annoying. Yeah, cause then it doesn't come, it doesn't even come off in one piece. So this is actually the annoying part. Come on, use it as a prop. God, wow. <laughs> All right, well, I'll think about it next year. Then. I got stupid. Oh my God. Uh... Why won't it just do its job? Come on. <laughs> yeah, see there on this one, there's no way to not put the tape at the bottom. It has to go on the bottom, which will wear it down a lot, as you could see by the old one. But I can't do anything about that, so I'm just gonna have to try my best to bend it into place. But at least none of them went missing. Both of them are still on there. Unlike the Dyson where the electronic search part was completely gone. So as you can see, it is still... As you can see on the bottom, it is still there. And then here at the top, I just like folded it in there as you could see. But it's not, it's not that bad. 
pretty sure it still works as well. We can clean up our workstation too. Nope, it died. Alright. Reach max plus right here. Right on the line. I'm tired of it. And or I can go over there. Who's missing? Oh, it's the vibe that's missing. You can go back in there. I'm not I'm not gonna be dusting dusting them out right now. I forgot this kid has swivel glides. Alright, no, 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 no. Before you go in there, let me pick up this garbage that's under here. I mean, this plastic. Alright, now you can go back in there. Alright, um, who still hasn't gone? Okay, you still have to go. You two went. You two still have to go. So just stand right there. And then you too, I think. So, you go over there. And then you. So, this whole row has gone already. And then the vacuum thing. Alright. Yeah, I did all of those. Alright, perfect. Clip that cord onto him. And then those two went. So then, I think this is it. Just these and that's it. The problem is, is that I only have four left we have and we have five left so i'm one short so, we, so i'm gonna have to cut out another one and then the eureka kid will be last all right um let's do the map because it's probably gonna be the easiest as it's flat but it's gonna have to go back because i can't because it's gonna be blocking the light Sure that camera's focused. Perfect. Kind of. It it did. I'm tired of this junk. And we'll put that down there too and we'll grab a new one god just stay right there i don't need to use it as a prop right now actually no i do have to use it as a prop so that way this part would go up higher so it's equal so that way this thing just doesn't fly right off I do see that there's some kind of caution text on here, so I'm not going to try to um, put the tape on, on top of that, so that way the next time it comes off, so that way it won't, it won't rip the text off with it. And there it is. Alright, I'll go ahead and put it back in the spot. And we'll do the quick and light next. Now, for the quick and light, we don't have to put him down. We can just remove this, move that part back, and there it is. Now, here's the problem with the vacuums that contain water. So, in this wall, we have two vacuums that have something to do with water. The map and the quick and light. The quick and light is a carpet cleaner, so he uses water, obviously, which is why this is pretty... It's going to get pretty um wet sometimes, and it's going to fade away, which is fine. I mean, you can obviously identify. And then I don't think we even used the map this year, as this sticker is in pristine condition. So we probably haven't even used the map last year, which is all right. I mean, I rarely use that thing. I mostly use the quick and light thing, because the map is mostly for um hard floor. So let's do the quick and light kid really quickly.
and see now it's 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 on the bottom again see i don't know how i was putting these on last year super annoying to get off now yeah because oh it, oh it starts all the way over here it starts all the way on the corner and it overlaps it to the other side that's how the water got in fortunately this is dried out it's dirty but it's it's dry and see this this is why i hate this i mean because because these don't go on straight they're super difficult to get off because it just doesn't go on straight plenty of space up here but no it it's it starts on this on this part super annoying And there's the one from the quick and light. This camera just makes it even worse. Now, obviously, that didn't come off in one piece, I think. Well, it actually it seems like it did. Actually, no, it didn't. Yep, there's the other piece. I don't understand why start on the, on this thing, like, why? There we go. Super annoying. I will actually put it on the proper way this time. Now we don't want to block the text, obviously, but the tape can block it. Because obviously that text is not made to come off easily. But we're not going to put it on this thing, like like that instead we're just gonna line it up correctly actually we, we can just push it down here a little bit there we go and just press it down now that's gonna prevent water from getting in there much easily and as you can see it's not on the on this part so it makes it easier to take off next year. Done. Alright, who's next? The Bissell stuff, right? Okay. I only have two more for, so that Eureka Kid will get his own. Sick and tired of this camera. Super annoying. All right, um, I'm going to need you to prop this thing up again, but obviously that won't work, so. Oh, much better, actually. And, and I just need this thing to prevent it from moving around. Okay, thank you for making it worse. Goodbye. Are you kidding me right now? This has the same problem. Was I even using my brain last year? Why, why did I put all of them on the bottom? Great, now it's going to be impossible to impossible to remove again tired of this yep and it just broke off into two pieces
This is impossible to remove. There's, there's, it's, it's gone. So you, you use some extreme scraping. There it is. Now, obviously, it didn't come off clean, which is fine. We'll just throw that part out. It doesn't matter. And the bottom part. And we'll throw this out. As it's in a way bad condition. Alright, new one. Yeah, I can't see because if I go over here, it's going to start blocking the light. Well, actually, not that bad. Could be worse. Now, actually, wait. There is no way to um actually get it off the, the bottom. Because yeah, if I move it up, then it's blocking the text. Alright, whatever. It'll just be hard to remove next year as well. Maybe not that bad. Alright, there's the... That thistle thing. Alright, next. Um, who is... Who was this? The clean view helix, okay. Now we have the Power Force one. Make sure that camera... Oh, oh, wow, it's not even in the frame at all. I'm sorry. Also, yes, I know it's sideways, but I can't... There's just no way to put the camera sideways either. Sorry if my head gets in the way as well. And this dumb tape roll. Oh, this one isn't as bad as the other one because this one actually isn't on the bottom. It's actually on the top. Which is why it came off so smoothly. Look at that. No broken parts at all. Except the stupid camera not focusing. Well, except this area. That's alright. But no broken parts unlike the... The clean view helix. God. Already tired of this and the O-ring fell out. Great, now if we get the O-ring back in there. Alright, stop moving it. Stop moving it. I don't understand why he can't follow directions. Alright, get out. Wow, much better. Using the Bissell to fix the Bissell. Perfect. I mean, it's a little high up, but that's alright. Doesn't bother me that much. As long as it goes on cleanly, which it did. And we're done. Wow, that didn't even take that much time. Alright, perfect. Two done. Alright, now for the um, last guy. Also, we can put these back up here. Who is this? The Helix Turbo. Alright, you go right there. He's the clean view. Clean view right here. Move down. Alright, done. Alright, now the Eureka Kid. But first, he's gonna need a, a new sticker. So, let's grab our worksheet. 
zoom in the sun and cut out another one now this is the star of the show so this one's probably gonna be the most clean cleanest cut Alright, just put that right there. Alright, let's get this Eureka ready. Hold on. Maybe it actually has to go. Oh, wait. I know it has to go right here. Right on the cam. No, right on the camera angle. Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, now, see, this kid has this kind of design on the side. So, um, we're just gonna... Oh, is this rubber? Oh, this is rubber. I never knew that. Wow, that was smooth. Ridiculous, tired of this. It has some damage on it. On the bottom. But not that bad. Alright, let's get this on here. Now I'm gonna move it down here, because it actually wasn't that bad on that side. I was expecting much worse. Perfect. No problems at all. No problems at all. Done. And there's the star of the show complete. There we go. All right. So let me review every single vacuum again. Thank you for the help. Get in. All right, who's outside? No one? All right, good. Just making sure. I did the Dyson, did the Bissell, did him, did that. That one I just did. Done, 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 done. Done, done. Those two done. That one done. That one done. All right, good. Perfect. Now let's review. This one was definitely... Um, <laughs> I actually don't remember. Okay, well, this one's obviously the Vacuvin. This is the Oric. That's the Vibe. That's the Dyson. This is the, um, the, oh, the Hoover, I think, this one. This one was the Oric, because it has that texture on it. This was the ReachMax Plus. Maybe. That was the Dyson, obviously. This was the Map. This was the Quick and Light. This was that ReachMax Plus. This was the... Um... Oh, wait, no. This one... This one or this one's probably the ReachMax... Uh, I mean, the White Eureka. This one's the Eureka, the star of the show. And then this one was probably that Bissell part, and then that was the other Bissell part. Alright, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye. I'm gonna make a thumbnail shot of this. And include this, too. This will go into the vacuum search folder. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.